Hello students. Today we are going to talk about the first chapter of our science textbook that is laws of motion. One of the most interesting topic in our entire textbook. I am sure we are all aware of the word motion. So we know that whenever an object is moving, we can consider it to be in motion. However, there are several technical aspects related to the word motion which we are going to understand in this chapter. So the first thing first we need to answer is what is motion so how do you describe motion can you think of a situation in which an object is moving does it have a change in position consider myself for example if i change my position from here to here then this change in position is what we can call as motion a little while ago i was standing at there so that was my initial position and now i am standing here so this is my final position so the change in the position of an object is what we can consider as motion however there are several important terms out here which we need to understand before we can justify what a motion actually is all about for example let's consider myself once again so i am not changing my position at all i am at rest when there is no change in the position of an object we can consider that the body is at rest so right now i am at rest as per all of you but tell me the room in which i am standing is it also at rest yes the answer might be yes talking about the building in which this room is even that building is at rest this particular area which has that building is at rest but we know that all this lies on the globe called as earth is earth also at rest the answer is no earth is in motion if earth is in motion if we come backward we can imagine that the continents or the countries or the cities or this building or even myself right now cannot be in the state of rest so how can we justify motion because as we just discussed the change in the position of an object so right now i am not changing my position visibly but with respect to earth which itself is changing its position how can i say that i am not changing my position hence to define motion we will have to set certain boundaries the boundaries within which motion will be justified and the boundaries within which the motion will be defined so we say that the change in the position of an object with respect to its immediate surroundings so right now my immediate surrounding would be the walls of this classroom your immediate surrounding will be the walls of this classroom if you don't change the position of yourself with respect to these walls then you are considered to be at rest and if you do change your position with respect to these same walls then only you will consider to be in motion so hence we need to understand one thing very clearly that motion is relative in nature for some the object may be considered to be in rest and for some other the object may be considered to be in motion so to define it we need to be very clear about the wordings which we are using so i repeat the definition of motion we say that the change in the position of an object with respect to its immediate surroundings is what we call as motion so can you tell me how do we define body at rest or what is meant by body at rest so we say that if there is no change in the position of an object with respect to the immediate surrounding the body is said to be at rest can we think of a few examples of both of this let's say an example of a body in motion can i say a man walking on a road can be considered as an example of motion a bus going on a straight road can be considered as an example of motion an aeroplane flying in the sky earth rotating around the sun all these are examples of motion do we also have some examples of body at rest yes we can say a book kept on the table now here the book is not going to change its position with respect to its immediate surrounding that is the table so we can say that the book is at rest a chair kept in the corner of a room is also considered to be the body at rest because the chair by itself is not going to change its position with respect to the walls of that room so even that can be considered to be an example of body at rest so these two concepts body in motion and body in rest have to be understood deeply so that we can understand everything else which is going to be formed a part of this chapter